Hi guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you a couple of my May favorites. Some of it is beauty, some of it is makeup, and some of it is lifestyle. I don't usually have a whole lot of empties or a whole lot of favorites because I'm not one that does a lot of hauls. Some of the products that I'm sharing with you are products that I have bought and will have continued to buy because they were my May favorites. And so um, this is a combination of favorites and empties in that sense. And there's a couple that have been sent to me. But overall, there's not much. So at the tail end of this video, I'm going to insert a lifestyle favorite where Jay and I took a road trip to Maine and we went to Freeport, Maine, home of L.L. Bean, and so I share a little bit of L.L. Bean, but I also hit the outlets, and I did a little bit of damage in Old Navy, so I'm going to share with you some of the things that I bought in Old Navy, a couple of clips of Freeport Waff at the very end, so those of you that are not interested in that kind of a road trip lifestyle type of thing, you can bypass it if you'd like but I would appreciate you thumbing up the video if you have not subscribed I would also appreciate if you subscribe all you have to do is hit the subscribe button hit the little notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload I try to upload twice a week although I'm not always good with that before I forget because people always ask what do I have on my face I'm trying a brand new foundation to me. This was something that was actually sent to me from YSL via the Octoline Network. And I really, so far, I only put it on this morning. This is the All Hours Foundation, and it's supposed to have up to 24 hour wear, which I will never do. But it's a full coverage. It also has a 20 SPF. The color that I actually got is BD35 Warm Caramel. And it was kind of interesting because I was a little bit concerned about this because I thought it looked a little bit too yellow. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand so that you can see, not a whole lot. But I thought it, it looked a little bit, I'm not too sure if the camera's gonna even pick this up, but I did think it looked a little bit too yellow. It actually, I thought, blended pretty well. I thought it really blended pretty well. So I'm gonna give this a try again. This was sent to me via the Octoly Network, y, um, YSL. And I'm really excited to try this. I don't have um, a whole lot of high-end foundations. I do have the SD Lauder. So high-end, yeah, this is probably the second high-end foundation for me. So I'm going to be really curious to see how I like it, how it wears, and I'll let you know. But that's what I have on my face today. On my eyes, I just have my regular eye makeup. I have a video coming up all about eyelashes, all about mascara, everything that I've been doing. But I do want to share with you on a May favorite. This is something that, this was also sent to me. I'm gonna link the information below because if anyone is interested, you can actually save $5 if you purchase this. But this is from a Blink Eyelash, and this is their Cushion Airbrow. This is super, super awesome. I have it on my brows. It's making my May favorites because every day that I've worn it, I have not had any spots on my eyebrows wear off. I've come home at the end of the day. I've done yard work. I've gone out. I've walked. I've done this. I've done that. I've done some exercising. It hasn't sweat off. It doesn't come off until I take it off. I really like it. It's super easy to apply. It has this little magic wand, this little tiny brush that goes in sort of like an ink thing. You unscrew the bottom here. This is where the product is, and it's really, the application is really nice. So this is definitely a May favorite of mine. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that when I talk about my blink, my eyelashes, in my eyelash video coming up, and that'll also have a giveaway, so you want to look out for that. Other things that I really like, I've not tried the Cucumber Witch Hazel before. I have done the Rose Petal, and I have liked the Rose Petal a lot. But I also, so this time when I ran out, I bought the cucumber, which hazel. It definitely has a, a smell of cucumber. And it, it isn't like a really, in my opinion, the smell is just menza menza. It's not the greatest smell. I, um, I don't mind the smell of cucumber, but this is really not like really super cucumbery. Let's put it that way. I don't know how to describe it. But I do use a witch hazel. I alternate in a toner between this and the ordinary glycolic acid toner. So I do use a witch hazel toner a few times, maybe four times a week, depending on what my skin is doing. And I do tend to like a witch hazel toner on its own. I don't like witch hazel mixed in with other products. Don't ask me why. I've tried some products that have had witch hazel into it, in it, mixed into it. And for some reason, I, I'm not a big fan of that. 
So that is a pretty good thing that I really like that I have bought repeatedly, repeatedly. This will be the first time with the cucumber one, so you know I like that one. The other thing that I bought, and this is the Body Merry. I believe it was Natalie the Beauty Diva that first turned me on to this, I don't know how long ago. And I bought a couple of them, I really like it. And then I actually won one in a giveaway from Sheila, um, Life with Lily, one that she did, and she had given me one. And since that time, you know, I just keep buying it. So this is an empty, it's a favorite. It continues to be a favorite. I already replaced it. So I really like this. This is very, very affordable, and it does the trick for me. So that's Body Mary. This is an exfoliating cleanser. I really do like it. Really, you can feel a little bit of the gritsies in it, but nothing, nothing major. I also have replaced my Equate oil-free makeup remover. I use the oil-free makeup remover because everything I've always been told, if you're going to be using an eyelash serum, a oil-based product, if you leave some of it on, it can block or inhibit the serum from absorbing into where you want it to go. So I use this and I replace this. This is very cheap. I buy it at Walmart usually. Not a big deal. The other thing they ran out of is the Ordinary and, and this is the Buffet. So I've, I have not bought a replacement of this yet. As often as I've used this, I have really liked it, but I am going to be using and have been using since that's been empty. And this was sent to me from Color Science. This is the Pep Up. And this is a really, really nice collagen renewal serum. It says it's collagen renewal face and neck treatment. I use this at night, just like I was using the Buffet. So Buffet. I usually, the ordinary buffet, normally I would put my niacinamide on, the buffet on, and let all that sink in, and then, you know, at one point before bed, my retinol. So I've been using this in, repla in replace of this. So when this is empty, I'll give you a full review on it. I really like it so far, but this again was sent from Color Science. Will I run out and buy another one? I don't know yet. I haven't used it long enough. So I still have a whole bunch here. I'll let you know how I do. But this is gone. This is history. I may reorder it. I may not. I don't know. We'll see. One of the things that has ended up being a super favorite of mine, many of you know that I have I have for long for a long, long time used the timeless eye cream. And I the timeless eye cream is like twenty if you can you can get it on sale, especially when they have their forty percent off sale, you can get it a lot cheaper. But the timeless eye cream is like it normally rounds runs around twenty dollars. And it's like, you know, a half an ounce, it's like 0.5. And I have used that over and over and over and over and over again for years, and I loved it. I had an opportunity to try the Saturday Skin. So I've used this Saturday Skin for quite a while now, and instead of the Timeless, the Saturday Skin is one ounce. The Timeless is a half an ounce. The Timeless not on sale is 20 some odd dollars, depending on where you get it. This not on sale in Sephora, or depending on where you get it, is over $40. It's double the amount though. So it, it to me it comes out to be the same price as the timeless. So I I this has been a repurchase for me. I really like this a lot. I uh, it, again it's gonna be something I buy when Sephora or you know wherever I'm and usually Sephora when they have their sales, when they have their insider stuff and all that. That's when I buy the 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 pricier products. So 40 some odd dollars for this. 20 some odd dollars for the Timeless. I'm an avid, avid Timeless fan, but I'm liking this eye cream a little bit better. This eye cream says Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. It's hot. For me, I don't know that it's really brightening anything, but it's hydrating. It, it very much moisturizes my eyes. I have dry, creepy skin under my eyes. You know, I'm 65, I suppose I should accept that, but I do. And so this works really nice on the skin under my eyes. So I'm really enjoying that a lot. So that is definitely on my repeat. The other thing, this is more lifestyle. I really, I love the Bath and Body Works foaming cleansers. I don't like the soap cleansers, the liquid soap, but I love the foaming cleansers. So depending on when you hit Bath and Body Works, they have different sales. I think the last sale I saw was six of these for like $18. So I ran out of this one. They, I haven't seen this exact same fragrance yet. This was probably a seasonal special, but I really liked it. It was Sea Island Cotton. And I thought, hmm. 
that is really nice sea island cotton so this one is island papaya is that how you say that word papaya but anyway so this is the replacement of this i really like these a lot i love 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 the foaming cleansers i have one in my kitchen i have one in the bathroom i have one in my motorhome i've given them away as gifts because they're nice they're, they're really really nice yeah. people always ask me about this so oh, do you still use the bee venom cream i do i use the bee venom cream that i find in tj maxx this one is empty now I've had a couple of requests for people to talk, you know, for me to talk about my skincare again, but I just really feel that, you know, skincare is such a personal thing, you know, and I'm always worried because people say, oh, should I get this and that? And I'm not a professional. I just will tell you what works for me. I have the face mask, the B Venom face mask, my replacement. This is my version of Benigma. You've heard of Benigma. Many people love that B cream. I have never tried that, so I cannot compare it. But this is my version of it. <laughs> this is the poor person's version of it. Because this is like $4.99, $5.99, $6.99 in Marshall's TJ Maxx. When you can find it. When you can find it. I happen to have three tubes of it, so I'm all set for a while. But I really do like this a lot. I use this on my face most every night and it stings still after all these years I started using this in 2016 it still stings but I happen to think it makes a difference on my skin the other thing that I've been super super loving in May are these little hair wraps I've talked about these before I have one in my hair I have many different hair wraps that I use summer's coming my hair is long enough to put up it's perfect so these things cost depending on where you get them if you have a sale thing but something like this i believe is like under twenty dollars anyways but this one i got in ulta and i've opened it up i haven't used this one yet but i've opened it up so that you can see what it actually looks like when it has not been put in your hair and, and messed up and all that it still has the little the little tag here but it is a scrunchie for those of you that don't know and it comes in many different i was almost going to say flavors <laughs> shades you can actually have a number of different i think they've got like longer ones shorter ones spikier ones i've got a couple of the spiky ones that i use when i just want to just throw it up without doing much fuss but this can be wrapped around your head, your ponytail, or it can be wrapped around a clip. I just have it really messy this morning. I'm going to turn around just so you can see. And I just have it wrapped around a clip. And there's the clip. You can see the clip. But I just, I just have it wrapped around the clip. I like it like that. This is actually by Hairdo. You can go on Hairdo's website. And I'll link their website. You can go on Hairdo's website and you can see all the different shades that they have they probably have more shades on the website than they do at Ulta but when I buy this in Ulta I usually have my coupon you know or my 20% off anything in the store is I just stock up because I wear these a lot when I put my hair up so I figured you know I really don't know how long they're gonna last but you know what I haven't had to throw one out yet so I think they're actually lasting pretty well and that makes me really happy but that's that's my group of favorites I you know like I said I don't really have a whole lot uh, and depending on the length of this video I'm going to insert the clip of my LL Bean because going to the coast of Maine is one of our major major lifestyle favorites we live near the coast we love cruising the coast of Maine and having we do annual trips sometimes a couple of times a year we go to LL Bean more often than not, we don't buy a thing in L.L. Bean. I walk around the L.L. Bean outlet where they have all the sales. Then I walk around the flagship store, which is huge. They have all these displays. But more often than not, you don't buy anything. I, I went into Old Navy. I buy stuff in Old Navy. I buy stuff in Francesca. Um, there's a whole bunch of different outlet stores there that I buy stuff in. So, anyways, I'm going to insert that clip here. And I'm... And Miguel Cuddy, M and J. Travel no adventure. RV <laughs> adventure. M and J RV adventures. We need to do a good M and J RV adventure. <coughs> we, need some good, we need some good weather. We do need some good weather. Well, today is beautiful. This is always a trip that Jay and I love to make, and we really love when we cross over the state line and entering into Maine. Going over the bridge to Maine from Portsmouth, I don't know. It just makes us feel so happy and so good. 
and we made it to Freeport. We did really good timing. It's not all that far from our home. We've been up here in our motorhome. You can see they have in Freeport Village plenty of parking, especially for motorhomes. And straight across is sort of an outlet mall center. And the first store we went into was the actual L.L. Bean outlet. They always have fabulous sales at the outlet. We always go here first and then we make our way into the other stores. I went into Francisca's and then I went into the Old Navy store where I did a little bit of damage. I bought some outfits in Old Navy. I bought this white top. I really liked it. It's baggy. I got two sundresses. I got them in a size large and I'm surprised at how well they fit, but they just flow really nice. And I got this distressed jean jacket. I might have got it too large. I'm not too sure. So I checked out. And then we walked across the street to the outdoor center of L.L. Bean. The L.L. Bean in Freeport, Maine is the flagship store. And the complex is huge. The grounds are huge. Over the course of years, they've bought additional properties. They have a restaurant. They have all sorts of outdoor events that go on all the time. It's really amazing the way the store is laid out. When you go inside, it's really comfortable inside. There's a place that you can have coffee, you can sit, they have Wi-Fi, and you can just walk around the store. They have amazing displays. They usually feature something local, and this is a local artist who did these sculptures, and fish pond, and this is right in the center of the store. And then the area going downstairs, which shows the animals, the wildlife. I mean, some people are probably not gonna like this, but usually this is quite an attraction for the little kids. Every time I come here, there's usually lined with kids looking at this because these animals are lifelike. They are, well, they're, you know what I mean? They're life size. So it's quite something, it's quite amazing to see. When we were done in L.L. Bean, we just walked, I didn't buy a thing in L.L. Bean to be honest with you. We just walked up the street to the place that we always have lunch when we come to L.L. Bean. And the place is actually called Jameson's Tavern. Jameson's is one of the oldest taverns in Maine and it's a place that Jay and I go to every time we go to Freeport. We just love sitting there having a drink and having a nice lunch and just relaxing. After that, we went down to the Freeport Wharf. This was actually the first time we've gone down to this area. We've never been here before. This was really pretty, and there's a restaurant we're going to try out next time we come. This is a cool spot. What? A lot of these harbors have a little couple of little islands right out of the mouth. Have a little what? Yeah. So this is Freeport Harbor. Yeah. We've never been here. No, because we have always just come to LL Bean. Exploring Maine, the way life should be. <laughs> right? Right. So this is the Freeport Walk, the town of Freeport, Maine, and we've been to L.L. Bean, and we've been all over the place, and I did some major damage in Old Navy Outlet. Oh my gosh, I had got the most awesome jean jacket. I got two dresses, sundresses, sort of, and I got like a peasant top. I, yeah, I did some damage. <laughs> So this is Maine. This is Freeport. Kenny, what do you think? It's awesome or what? Yeah, enjoying it. Played golf this morning and now sitting out by the... And you wanted to go sit over here at this lobster pound and have another drink. No, I wanted to know if you wanted another drink. Oh, and I was being good. Yeah, for the first time ever. <laughs> ever, ever. Let's go steal a boat. I just want to thank you all for watching. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment. I'll get back to all of you. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you all so much.